Then people say, should I invest in company that blue chips that are safe like Microsoft, Google, Apple, yeah. Citigroup, all these blue chip company, Coca-Cola, all these names that we are familiar with. But then you know what? They're not cheap. Uh -huh. Valuable stops are not cheap. They're very expensive. And then the question is, which one to pick? So the question I share with people, don't pick any one of them. Pick all of them. Welcome to Peaceabilities here in CBRC.TV. I'm your host, Arman Benko of the Colaico Foundation and KSK SMP Co-op. Magandang araw sa inyo lahat, saan man kayo nanonood, saan man sa mundo. This is the new medium, the new TV, the new way of broadcasting CBRC.TV, the virtual space of the future today. Our episode tonight, Options Trading. Ano yun? Options Trading. Making money in the stock market when prices go up or even go down? Pwede ba yun? Huh? Tuto kayo, tuto kayo. We have in the show, huh? we have in the show um, a certified public accountant by discipline, by training. Um, he quit his job as a uh, finance director of a large multinational company in Singapore years ago to start his coaching and training business. He established it 2003. Today, that entity, Wealth Mentors, has served over 12,000 international clients since 2003 throughout Asia, including Singapore, Malaysia, Philippines. Dito ko siya nakilala eh, ah, when he uh, went to the Philippines, I think two, two years ago. Uh, mamaya, itanong natin. Hong Kong, Brunei, Indonesia, and even the USA. Wealth Mentors has also received the prestigious, promising SME 500 awards in the Platinum category. Let's welcome in the show, CEO and founder of Wealth Mentors, all the way from Singapore, Mr. Aaron Sim. Aaron! Thanks for having me, uh, Aman. Very, very uh, uh, excited to share my experience to your group of audience. Uh, a lot of... Uh, Good stuff I can share with them. Thank you, Aaron. And uh, um, um, it's been uh, what two years, no? Uh, right before the pandemic, when we first met, and uh, I first doubled on this uh, wonderful uh, uh, concept, uh, existing already for decades, that you introduced me and my uh, my principal, Francisco Colaico, and from there. Uh, aside from being uh, monetary richer, uh, the experience, the knowledge itself, uh, and hopefully uh, the wisdom coming out from your sharing, the opportunity that you uh, opened our eyes, minds uh, to, uh, will be, Mr. Kolaiko and I, forever be grateful to you, Aaron. Um, uh, um, and I'm just as happy and excited to share it to our audience here in the Philippines or Filipinos abroad because uh, we somehow enjoy uh, uh, viewership even outside of the country. And that is just but perfect because it's not for the Philippines alone. It's not for Singapore alone. Um, thanks to, uh, it's kind of ironic, awkward to say, thanks to the pandemic, but uh, thanks to the situation that we're forced into, everything online, everything digital, uh, there are opportunities. And, oh my, geez, I didn't realize. Uh, that was, I think, the seminar that I attended from first second up to the last second. Even at the time that you finished your seminar, I was there with you asking questions. Not because it was lacking, it was the lacking of time. Um, Aaron, how are you? How are you in Singapore? Uh, it's I'm not good. as bad as COVID situation here in the in Manila. 
Yes, I've not been out of Singapore for, uh, since uh, 29 of February last year. So I've been here. I'm really wanted to uh, get out of Singapore if the situation permits. And I've been actually with the uh, Philippines since 2016. And Colico mm. and yourself attended my first program back in May 2018. So it's already three years. Uh, I've been with uh, Philippines almost every month. Yeah, yeah. This <laughs> pandemic. Love to be in Philippines. There's so many people who are so eager to learn. And, and you know what? We give them actually free seminar and allow them to be able to build up their knowledge. And not only trading, I also brought in other speakers alone. Yeah, yeah. What I really, really want is actually financial independence. And I share with them the way. Option trading is one of the fantastic arena. Aaron, uh, I'm grateful. I understand uh, you prepared a, uh, uh, not a presentation. This is not a webinar, but uh, some visual aids. Uh, and I'll give you the virtual floor. Sure, I'll give you. I'm uh, prepare a great content so that they can be able to follow through step by step. Then. So, so let me share with you uh, what I have planned. Okay, I call this uh, session uh, just to check. Okay, so I share this the option trading one two three plug and play masterclass. Ooh. Why is the option trading one two three? Is because the topic is complicated, but if I make it simple, you'll be able to do those sort of things. That is the purpose. And how do I make it simple this way? Is that I want to make sure that this program here is not theory. I'll show you the proof how to apply mm. it. And I want to show you this is a complete training. I'm not going to give you small pieces as a preview, complete. The reason is so that you can apply it right today and in a very short moment. And will help you to avoid crazy mistakes I've done through 20, 30 years ago, so that you don't have to repeat it, so that you can save your time right now. And I know it works because I want to show you the money because my entire team are using it. They make money. That's why it's not something that we cook up from our kitchen. It came up right from our own experience. But I want to want something. This is not a get rich quick program. There are financial risks involved. You need to understand to do this thing. Otherwise, you lose all your money. Make sure you get financial help before I do that, okay? Now, this is uh, me back uh, when I was 39. I was at the peak of a corporate career, but I didn't know, didn't like what I was heading to. I don't want to be like age 65, like the gentleman in front of me that are all bored. So I pursue my own career and I decided to learn this process. In a couple of years, I was able to actually to share my experience now, this was an event that I did in Cebu uh, about 2016, no, maybe 2019 at that time. Okay, 2019, I was in Cebu. Uh, this is a program I did actually in uh, Malaysia. And the key thing is this, it's not so much of what I do, what I can help you today. Now, one of the important things that people, when they trade option is, they make some option with what is it about. So I want to start with looking at stocks first. Now, most people, when trade, trade stocks, they number one question they will ask me is what stocks to buy? And I tell them, wrong question. Because why? Uh, Aman, would you want to make your trading simple or complicated? Let me know. Simple, of course. Simple. Of course, simple. If you want to make it simple, you never, never want to do all this analysis. Like, don't do fundamental analysis. Because why? It's a lot of work. Don't do technical analysis. It's too complicated. Yeah. Don't look at this financial report. It's too mind-boggling. I'm a CP myself, CPA myself. I find it confusing. Why? There's a simpler way. For example, there's a company like GameStop. Have you heard about GameStop early this yeah. year? Uh, yeah. Because of the news, no? Because of what happened with them. Yeah, because of the rate in that all of a sudden, the stock price was like flagged at $20-$50. In a week, it jumped up like close to 500 then down 500. Now the woman <laughs> is terrible. So yeah. Would, yeah. If you were in as 500 and next week is down to $50, you cry, right? So this is too volatile. Then people say, should I invest in companies like blue chips that are safe like Microsoft, Google, Apple, yeah. Citigroup, 
all these blue chip company, Coca Cola, all these names that we are familiar with. But then you know what? They're not cheap. Uh -huh. Valuable stops are not cheap. They're very expensive. And then the question is, which one to pick? So the question I share with people: Don't pick any one of them. Pick all of them. Let me say all. again. Don't pick one of them. Pick all of them. How? By investing in the entire S and P five hundred using an instrument called the exchange traded fund. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a basket of stocks, right? So, which means that you can diversify your risk that way, and you don't have to 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 be just rely on one company. And with that, you know what happened is you can choose the entire market exchange trade fund, the S and P five hundred. Dow Jones 30 or the technology company or Russell 2000. Now this alone, that took me years to figure out and you can choose one of them. So imagine Aman, if you got a chance to actually own the whole whole market, would you want to do that? Of course. Yes, yes, of course. yes. But if you have some specialized knowledge in some area, for example, some people said, I have some knowledge in certain market sector. I'm an engineer myself, for example. I want to look at oil and gas industry. Okay, you look at exchange trade fund like XLE, mm -hmm. all the oil company together. Or I can look at uh, a gold mining company, GDX. Uh -huh. Or I can look at financial sector for banking. Or I can actually look at retail. So you can choose one of them without individual company. Now, the question is how do I apply this? into really making money people say okay okay I, I i look at the broad market i pick one of them like spy how do i make money so aman must listen to this one carefully okay this alone will be worth all your time coming here in this minute the market has certain natural flow meaning that it it, it comes in like the ocean ocean at certain time when they come in there is a typhoon and then there's sometimes there's no typhoon just like a, a seasonality there's a summer there's a winter right stock market is the same stock market every year when there's a holidays where the exchange like new york stock exchange is closed prior to the holiday a week before that there's a tendency stock prices go up bullish always always 80 to 90 percent 80 to 90 percent i'm not saying 100 percent, but let me show you that it was 100 percent the last 12 months let me give an example okay last year. so take note of this one this piece alone is worth out all your time to be here i got nine holidays in every year new year's day first of january a week before that like the boxing day 26 until first january market stock prices go up after Luther King in January this year, a week before that, it goes up. Mm -hmm. February, President's Day, a week before that goes. Now the thing is, the moment it goes up the next day, you make money, you get out. Don't be greedy, okay? Don't be greedy. <laughs> March, nothing happened, but take note. Good Friday in April, a week before that, it goes up. Continue to extend the run. The bull run, the bull run after that. Same thing, May thirty first, Memorial Day, a week before that, it goes up. July the fourth, it goes up. Now let me ask you this: Is it a coincidence? It's not a coincidence. It's happened again and again. So after July, what happened? Now, so people said, okay, I missed out how many times? Six times this year. Never mind. Yeah. The next yeah. one is coming. Next one is coming. August, nothing happened. But come in September, Labor Day, 7 of uh, this year, whatever the Labor Day, first week of September, end of August, you park in a week before that. Now, it happened last year, it happened many times before. I'm not saying 100% high probability. Hmm? Thanksgiving Day, Christmas Day. Right? So you have nine opportunity a year, and then next year, nine again. Yeah. Yeah. What is the next uh, yeah. September the 6th. That way. So what I'm sharing with you is if you know that the prices had the tendency to go up prior to the exchange holiday, then you park yourself, go up. Right? 
Right. Now people will say yes. Then when is option coming in? You must know what is the direction of the stock price first. Then you choose the type of option. Okay. Yep. You don't go the other way around. So you know what's the instrument first. Then replace that instrument with buy option. Yeah. And this is someone that actually the, took my training in this session. Fantastic. She found that it was very powerful. Now, can I just share a minute of what her experience is? Just one sure, minute. Sure, 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 please. Whether the video got sound, okay? Crystal Davis here, and thank you, Aaron Sim, for your fast action simplified trading webinar I was just on. 60 minutes, you guys, I'm blown away how easy, free, this was free, to check it out. And it's simplified, dumbed down. I knew nothing about stocks, about option trading. Aaron makes it so simple, easy to follow. And you know what? The proof is in the results. Not only did I see people's investments over 90 days be matched 100%. So I can't wait to dive into this program. Thank you, Aaron. The results don't lie. Okay, I'm going to show you the results in a moment. Okay, so so how do you take that particular stocks like Spider and use option to multiply massively with a small amount of money? Okay, a lot of people said, okay, I, I got a small account, how do I do it? No problem. I got a big account, I also can do it. Okay, either way. So how do you do it? Number one is trading options. So what is options all about? Options allows people to use a little bit of money to make a lot of money. Options also allow people to make money when stock price goes up, also go down. Why? Because of this thing. When you trade stocks, you buy in shares. Yes. Trade in options, you buy in contracts. What is the relationship between the two? Simple. Uh, one option contracts allows you to control 100 shares. Okay. Now, what okay. is the similarity and differences between that? Uh, similarity is this one stocks and options that are listed in major exchanges in us okay mm -hmm. differences is this when you buy stocks you are a shareholder you get dividend mm -hmm. yeah option owner on that stocks you don't get dividend you stay at home and make money okay yeah. the other major differences is stocks do not have expiration date yeah option have expiration date only a shelf life and actually because of shelf life you don't have to pay so much money. Let me give an example, okay? So when people buy stocks, instead of buying stocks, pay a lot of money, and they can replace it with buying the call option. Buy the call option, stock price here, you buy the call option. Stock price goes up, you sell the call option and make money, okay? That is simple. Instead of buying stocks, you buy the call option. Now, the reason why you want to do that is you pay a little bit of money. I'll show you an example in a moment. Likewise, you can make money when stock price comes down. When stock price comes down and you want to make money as stock price comes down, you buy the put option. Mm -hmm. When you expect the stock price to come down, you buy the put option. Put option increases in value. You buy first. Buy first, stock price goes down. Put option increase in value. And then you can sell them. That's how it's been structured. Two separate things. The reason why you want to actually do this is because it costs you a fraction of the cost of the stocks. Now, expiration date on the option is it can expire every week or every month or one time a year. Most of the time when we use this, every week. Because why? You don't cost you so much money. Huh? That's the beauty. So when one option contracts allows you to control 100 shares, how do you make this thing work? Very simple. The cost of the option, the term is called premium. When you say premium, this is a fraction of the cost of the option. Let me give you an example, Aman. For example, like an ETF that is XLE, which is the energy stocks. It costs you $54. But you expect it to go up and you don't want to pay the $54. So you okay. say, okay, 59 cents. 59 cents is a fraction of it. But the thing is, you can't pay 59 cents. You have to pay 100 shares. You, do, you go to one unit. So you pay yes. $59, which is too cheap, right? Yes. But with $59, now $59, what happened? You are actually controlling 100 shares 
of XLE that's worth five thousand four hundred because oh, oh. that is fifty four dollars. Yeah. Okay, I don't have to pay the five thousand four hundred. You don't have to pay five dollars. You only pay fifty nine dollars. I don't own the stock, but I control it. Correct. You control okay. it. You control the using the you control the five thousand four hundred stocks with fifty nine dollars over a one week period, over one week. Okay, because for this particular case, you have an expectation during the one week something's happened to give you to make you money as the stock price goes up. Okay. Okay. That's okay. the purpose. So the power is this one is using a little bit of money to make a lot of money. Okay. Now, how do you do it? I'm going to use this concept to apply to secret number one I just shared with you about my exchange holiday. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm going to give you an example. How does this work? Number one, I give you a whole list of the broader market candidates. I'm going to choose one of them, Spider, that I shared with you, the nine holidays uh, trade earlier. Okay, I choose one of them, Spider, SPY, top left. So I want to share with you, Aman, how your money and work 45 times harder than other on the thing. 45 times. Okay, ready? Okay. Yeah, oh, yeah, awesome. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So remember I shared with you this uh, uh, trade number four earlier about Good Friday. You yes. buy shares a week before the stock price goes up. Okay? Right. So Good Friday was on Friday. This trade was started on Monday. Okay? Now what I did was I didn't buy the stocks that cost me close to $400. Okay, I didn't do that. What I did was this. This is what I did. I buy the option, call option, because I expected it to go up. And on that Monday, I paid $2.80. That's it. $2.80 instead of $3.95. Okay. The next day, actually not next day, actually in three hours time, my two eighty dollars go up to three seventy, dollars and I sold it off. I make 30 plus percent. Now, in this case, I bought close to 35 contracts. So it's about $10,000 investment for me. And I sold it to like 13,000. So this is actually uh, what happened to me. One day. Three hours. 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 <laughs> three hours. So I actually invested uh, close to $10,000. I sold it for close to $13,000. $3,000 in three hours. Now, at that time, I was already asleep. <laughs> uh, and a good thing is this. Good thing is... How, did I, you, how, how were you able to sell if you were asleep? What happened is, when I set up the tag, set up the, uh, the, the cost at $2.80, my order is already in completed. I can set a target at three ninety in the system that if it hit that number, give me my money. That's it. It will automatically sell. Automatically sell, give me my money. I sleep peacefully. I don't care. Oh. That's, that's why you were saying, don't be greedy. Yeah, don't be greedy. Okay, okay. Have good enough sleep, make money, <laughs> and then you're done. Right? And it's three hours. Okay. okay, if it's not three hours, next day or day after, it's still okay. Fine, yeah, right? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let me just check. I haven't got some other. So, why do I say is for this? Uh, 45 times harder. I'm going to make a comparison. If you have $1,000 and each share is $395, roughly how many shares can you buy? Uh, Ahmad, just, just give me a rough. If $1,000 and each share is close to $400, how many shares can Less you buy? Less than three. Less, Less than, than three. three. Or just okay. two. Two shares, two shares. Okay. So if Because there's no, fraction of a, of a, there's no fraction of a share, right? All right. You are right. 100%. So if each share only make you $3, Two shares will only will make you six dollars, right? Correct. Yeah. Now instead of using your money to buy shares, you now use your money to buy the call option, which only costs you two dollars and eighty cents. Okay. Now with one thousand dollars, you can actually buy about more than three hundred units. Correct. More than okay. Yeah. But you cannot buy all units. Remember, I said one option contract allows you to control 100 shares. Is that true? Yes. Yes. So which means you round out, you can only buy three contracts, which is 300 units. Fair enough? Yeah. 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 So, but each unit 
goes up from 270 to 280 to 370 means you make a profit of 90 cent yes 300 units using a thousand dollars you make 270 dollars mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay 300 units of 90 cent you make 270 dollars now using a thousand dollars to make 270 versus a thousand dollars you make six dollars that is 45 times more for using a thousand dollars you make your money work harder with the same amount of money is that harder and smarter harder and yeah. smarter yes yes that is the power oh. that's the power right so i'm Hold very on. excited Yes. Aaron, I have to cut you uh, because there are questions coming out. Sure. Uh, you mentioned already put, call. You keep on saying put, call. Uh, bear with us, uh, Aaron, uh, unless it's in the succeeding uh, visuals. Uh, what is a put? What is a call option? I'll let Anything you answer you? that, Aaron. I'll let you answer that. I'll just reintroduce where they are watching. Anong programa ba pinapanood nyo?